Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Dyke and Sonny here, bringing you another Tekken video. And today, we're going to be doing a Tekken 8 beta review. So, I've been lucky enough to get inside the beta, and I've been playing uh for a while now uh here on stream we over here just chilling but yeah the beta is about to end soon so i want to go ahead and give my thoughts and impressions on the beta while it was still alive so uh just talking about the game overall uh presentation wise game's absolutely beautiful um i am on the pc version now the pc version do have a few issues and i'm pretty sure they're going to fix those it is just a beta so optimization stuff like that will be fixed but there are known to be some optimization issues on the pc version right now people that have the console version stuff they're not really having too many issues as the pc version so if you got the console version you probably had a better experience overall now talking about the actual netcode before we start talking about gameplay things the netcode experience is very iffy actually so it's very weird it's a step above tekken 7 but it's not at the same level as guilty gear strive or street fighter 6 to say the least it's, it's nowhere near like those games it's supposed to be rolled back but I don't i don't really know exactly what the team over there is doing now as far as we know there was a collaboration between uh bandai and a uh, team over there uh at Arika to help with the netcode infrastructure for this game and i don't know exactly what's happening but like i said it's a little bit better than tekken 7 but it's not really on par with the other one so luckily they still got time until this game comes out to fix whatever issues happen i'm pretty sure this game like many others will probably have like survey and stuff like that and hopefully we can get a few more beta tests before this game actually release so they can actually have more time to actually you know work on this actual beta so yeah they need to actually work on the netcode a little bit because it's a little bit iffy uh, there is some kicked in delay already so there's kicked in delay for the actual beta so when you're actually playing you can actually like feel the delay uh like inside the training room but then when you go inside matches you'll see like it's actually a little bit more built in and that's just naturally how rollback works is built in a little bit extra late to like sort of go with the game so it's not actually as clunky it makes sense why they did it but it's not as much delay as some other titles have had um as far as other things go so talking about other things as far before we get into actual gameplay talking about just overall like the system of this game um the movement so a lot of people have talked about the movement in this game uh movement essentially is uh better or for worse uh backdash seems to be sort of worsened in this game that's what a lot of people have been saying but side steps have apparently got um gotten better now one thing i noticed and this is just from me personally i feel like personally doing uh korean backdash in this game is a little bit easier than it was in previous titles so just doing the motion is just easier like i'm not really a person that's really good at it but for some reason it seems like they made it easier so i can do it like you know decently well in this game and i could in like previous titles like before i could not do it nowhere near this fast or like this consistent but it's definitely easier in this game for me i feel like they made like something like a shortcut or something i, I have to go back on tekken 7 and actually like test it but it definitely feels like it's easier to do now because i can i can get it a lot easier than i could before now so yeah it feels like it's a little bit easier to do that so if you're a person that struggle with the move in this game like like me it may be a little bit easier to do it in this game than it is in tekken 7. once again i would have to test that again but the actual mechanics of the game the gameplay this is a game that's like they said before really aggressive right this is a pretty aggressive game when it comes to the heat systems and like how they want to play and if they nerf backdash on purpose like if it was intentional it makes sense along with the way they want to like the game now some people may not like that but for this game with how like the aggressive system and stuff works the uh, heat system it's pretty interesting and the heat system did get nerfed from other iterations that we saw as far as like the gameplay uh teasers and stuff that they've shown before so now you just have the actual just thing so if you press it you know you can just go into it and it takes out some of your meter no longer do you have like the two little eight icons there you just have one so when you do like something that uses it you spend the whole thing now so the whole thing just goes away now because of that so that's pretty interesting so it's a little bit more simplified a little bit more nerf but it makes sense so every round you get access to this and you could do it like that or you could do it like in combos like this so you can uh it could be an extender to like your combos which is pretty cool so you can get some pretty cool extensions off of it i played june this is the character that i played but yeah you can do some pretty interesting things with it and it allows for, for you to get a little bit extra damage but the coolest thing i think about it is not even just the extenders but the unique things that characters get and unfortunately the character i played is probably has 
the least interesting thing when it comes to it the only thing that happens is for her is things that cause health no longer cause health so like you see like when she does things things like take her health away they no longer take her health away that, that's literally it and like this move becomes like a parry now that, that's about it so yeah she doesn't get anything but like you think kazuya for example kazuya turns into you know his devil form and he gets a bunch of new moves and like jen gets a bunch of new moves like a lot of these characters get a bunch of new moves and stuff uh which is really cool i think that's the really cool thing about the actual heat system itself is the uniqueness per character that it actually provides now talking about other things one big thing i did not like about tekken 7 personally was that the game did not teach you how to play it now this game has a very simple tutorial at the very beginning of the game it doesn't go into too advanced but i'm expecting to see more later on but also the way that they actually do this inside of this is really cool so not only do they have combo challenges which help you understand more about the character so you know it's like the sample combos but you can do it in like sort of a combo trial mode which is nice it's just in the training room while you're like playing match and stuff but the move list is actually spread out into two pieces now which i think is really cool so you have your main techniques which go like 20 things so they have like they have a few combos here they have the heat the heat engagers some combo starters like these are like some key moves and stuff you'll be using they'll tell you like combo starter starter what they're effective against and they have like these little sort of notes on there so it says effective during heat you need so it tell you like there's a there's a effect during that they're telling this is your heat smash and even when you go down into the other things which once again the uh organization here is nice so you have the heat system for june the heat moves you have the rage moves the normal moves and then like even down below it has like a few more uh categories here so you have your attack reversals for her your throw so it's nicely and neat organized they even have moves for the stances these are the moves during me uh Ade. this is her stance right this is her uh genjutsu stance this is her other stance and then this is uh her last stance right here her uh izumo stance so even stances have their own sections it's very neatly organized and it's very easy to tell where things are because before if you look at tekken 7 and stuff like that when you look at the move list you just go down it's like 150 moves it's like you, your brain just exploding right especially if you're not used to tekken this is very very much easier to read and understand even though characters have a lot of moves still it's easier to get to what you want and that's the best part about it now once again talking about some of these things right so you can see here it says uh while rising down to cancel the shift to crouch state so it's telling you that you can cancel this and these are just little notes so in tekken 7 there was things about my character that i did not know for example i played eliza and she has a move uh when you do it she does like a i forget like she does like these like mid hits right like she does like chop chop or whatever but you could cancel it and actually like go into a crouching state it does not tell you that in the game and for some other characters they'll have it to where it's a completely different move like it'll be like this is one move and in 92 would be this is the cancel like they'll have a completely different move so rather than jogging the actual uh move list with just cancels as additional moves they started putting these little notes letting you know that there are cancels and crouching states and stuff like that so they actually compacted the move list a little bit because they started putting this note section in here that's why i really wanted to get to uh which i think is really cool the gameplay for for uh for the most part is pretty similar to what you expect from tekken you know uh, a lot of combo structures is very similar you know you have your launcher into your tail spin and stuff one thing about tail spins that is pretty unique in this game is the way that they typically work so rather than like sending the opponent in like you know certain directions like before they actually um stay pretty close in this game which is very interesting so yeah like characters don't just go as far so if i do something like this um you'll see that they actually just like launch up like you see that so rather than like sending them like sort of far before uh characters sort of go just like more upwards rather than uh they go more vertical than horizontal in this game which makes combos seemingly like easier so like combos that were harder before are definitely easier in this game and i know overall people have been saying certain characters just got easier like um i know for example law players have been talking about how much easier law is to play and uh you know there's some crazy things in this game as well uh like kazuya for example kazuya you guys probably seen the stream by now where kazuya literally can take like 33 percent of your life just in case you haven't as you can see it does a huge chunk 71 damage right there also one interesting thing about this game the health total in this game actually went up compared to other games so damage overall is higher and they did say they're going to be tweaking damage and stuff like that so while the damage seems higher now overall damage may go down later on 
right now is definitely higher it could be tweaking it but yeah the health pool is higher it is a higher health amount than it is in tekken 7 which could make things to where games are seemingly feels a little bit longer but it don't seem like that like the the aggressive system in this game really like keeps that in check right uh because of how many things people get you know you could do something and all of a sudden you get plus frames or you have all these new moves some moves actually have the new effect of actually expending bar so rather than like just having new attacks you get access to certain moves that just spin some of the meter so it spins a portion of the gauge and these attacks i'm guessing are like they feel like are so strong that they have to expend some of it outside of the ones that actually you just get the dash cancel again and stuff like that so you do get like a free mix-up and stuff like that uh and some characters i feel like that have really good lows that like give them combos and stuff off of the stagger state really can take advantage of this really really well like if you have like you know a fast a fast low or like a you know a hell sweep or something that you could do a snake edge you can really take advantage of this because you could get a full-on combo along with using your heat smash because some characters also just have their state as a mix-up itself so if you use the heat smash and you see it starts with a low so it is in itself inherently a mix-up for certain characters now some characters have multiple ones like the character i played june she has two because they have some inside of stances which is pretty cool so there are like some st uh, stance uh ones as well and her start with a low like that so it's pretty cool how there's like some stance ones and like there's some regular ones and stuff like that it's really cool i, I really like the system overall in this game it really feels like just a overall expansion upon what tekken 7 has had on there like the unique aspect of every character is shown even more like i really do like the aspect of devil Jin, i mean or devil kazia you know devil form being like somewhat playable like it's a playable state because you always are going to be using this so devil form kazia is something we're always going to see now which is something that you really didn't see inside of tekken 7 you know using devil form was not much something you've seen in the highest level of play that much as far as tekken 7 go but in this game you're going to be seeing it a lot and not you're not gonna probably see like all the moves maybe like some of the lasers and stuff still gimmicky but the fact you're still gonna see the form and some of the powerful things you get inside of the form i do really like about tekken 8 so overall tekken 8 package i think is very good i like the package for this i think the package is overall good as far as like what we got here rollback could just uh be better but the overall gameplay the aesthetics of the game uh the music is pretty good so far just can't wait to hear more tracks about the game but so far i do like what we have and um yeah just like i said so far i'm just enjoying the game experience this beta overall impression for me it left me with i want more and i think that's a pretty good impression when, when you want more of a beta when you know it's about to go away when you know it's about to get snatched away from you and you want to play more i think that's a good first impression when i played street fighter 6 i did not have that impression i'm not gonna lie but this game i definitely have that so i'm looking forward to more Tekken 8 hopefully we get another beta in the future hopefully they can optimize the game a little bit more as far as the pc version and the rollback and uh yeah hopefully i just got more good things said about it. i can't wait to see who else inside the roster uh makes it i know uh there has probably been some data mines on the pc i heard about it i don't really know exactly what's happening i don't know if this game is going to have a street fighter 6 uh situation where people are going to figure out how to you know stay on the game after the fact of the beta you know anything's uh in the realm of when the game gets on the pc anything's possible then so who knows what will happen after the beta uh once people can't play it and they start fiending right so we will see the future of uh tekken 8 and uh see what people come up with but anyway if you like anything i had to say drop me a like great appreciate it also let me know how you guys feel about tekken 8 have you been watching it have you got your chance to play it let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about tekken 8 so far uh do you did you have a good rollback experience how do you like the uh, characters or the overall heat changes let me know all that down in the comments below anyway you like anything you have to say drop me a like really appreciate it if you want more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so you know next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out